What's up YouTube, G-Dig is back here. Today I'm going to show you guys how I laid my back stencil to this back piece, wherever it's out on the screen, and how I use Procreate to create each and every printout to make one big image and one big stencil. Here we go guys. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image here that I used for the actual reference of the tattoo. Uh, you're not going to see my negative shades or cloud work or anything like that in this. This is, again, just for YouTube purposes. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy my canvas and I'm going to add something new. That way I only have one layer. So how I'm going to make this into a stencil form is I'm going to copy it, or I'm sorry, duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate it again so I have that original layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put it on the color dodge. Then what I do is I invert it. I come up here to your tool and I'm going to hit uh, blur. And I'm going to go anywhere between typically 7 and 10%. We'll just do 10% just because. Um, or we can actually go down to 7. That works for me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that top layer that we edited. We're going to merge it down. Now I'm going to go back up to your tool and I'm going to go to curves. And what I do is I take the third bar over, I'm sorry, it, I guess technically if you count this it would be fourth, but to me it's one, two, three. And what I do is I grab this and I just go all the way down with it. And there's my stencil. Okay. Now, people say, how do you make one image into one big back piece? Well, essentially, I mean, there are so many different ways to do this. This is just how I do it. What I do is I take this layer here and I take my cutout tool and I select rectangle, okay? Now what I do is I'll just kind of find um, a square part of the image and I'll, you can actually make a template of this. You can actually turn template on and, and put a grid on there um, or you can just do it this way. It's completely up to you guys. What I do is I get that, select that and what I do is I copy it. Then what I do is I add a new layer and what I do is I paste that layer. So now I have a second layer of that box. And then I come up to here and I take my opacity down on the original image, like down to 29 to 40%, as long as you can see where the image is actually at that you're using. So now I'm gonna go back to my cutout tool and I'm gonna grab a piece right here of this square. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hit copy. I'm sorry, I grabbed the wrong layer, I gotta redo that. So I'm gonna go back to my original layer of the full image, take my cutout tool, cut the square out, copy it, now I'm gonna add another layer. There's that layer. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna go back to my original layer, layer one, I'm gonna need my cutout tool, now I'm gonna come here, now I cut out this section, okay copy it, add another layer, paste. There's that layer. Now I got one more time to do this and then it's going to be the full image but split between four full size sheets. So I'm going to come back to layer one, take my cutout tool, grab right there, and I'm going to copy it, come here, and I'm going to paste it on another layer. Now what I have is I have four separate layers. I can take away my original layer. I've got four separate layers, all in which are going to be able to be printed off as long as they're sized to the same when they're printed, they should all match up. Now how I'm gonna make sure they're all sized is I'm gonna take this image here and I'm gonna drag it to the center. I'm gonna take this next layer here, drag it to the center, take layer four, I'm gonna drag it to the center, and I'm gonna take layer three, and I'm gonna drag it to the center. Now, how I size them all is I just select each one the same way, and then I just stretch them all to be to the same size, okay? So now, each layer is going to be selectable to be the size of a big sheet, and all are going to line up as they should when they're printed out. And they should just make a big image of this. 
So once I print those out, each out individually, they will be exactly the same size. Um, so everything's gonna be able to just line right up and make one big image. Um, if you guys have any questions regarding this, um, let me know down in the comment box. Again, I appreciate you guys liking and subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, want to see me review anything, uh, feel free to shoot it down in the comment box. I'll get to it as soon as I can. Appreciate you guys. G. Dickens.